most people in America have a particular fashion or brand name that they like to claim as their own. My late spouse loved Vera Wang because she had an outlet in our state. I don't know if that's because she came to our state or she just did, did invested business in our state. I really don't remember. But she had all these bags, and I probably got the name of the pretty little girly prissy bags that she loved. They were not cheap. They were expensive, but you know what my late wife could always do? She could always find a beautiful version of them at Goodwill, and she was ecstatic. She had a full collection of them. So after she left, I had to figure out what to do with them. I also had to give up her beautiful red jacket, which she wore on one of our most important dates in Japan, and that was hard for me. But in America, we have the right to choose our clothing, and you don't have the right to tell me what I'm going to wear. You're not going to tell me how I'm going to do my hair. You're not going to tell me how to groom my beard. I know why I'm wearing my things the way I'm wearing them right now. I know that particular clothing keeps me safer from the derelicts and the abusers of American law in America. I also know what keeps me helped in America while I'm impoverishment. I also know how to wear my clothing and how to wear my things at the right time when I rise to something new. But how dare you think you're going to rip my shirts for you? How dare you think you're going to tell me I smell when I probably know that? But I'm sorry, I'm living out loud outside in the rain and you want to shove me off a block to put me standing further in the rain. You want to put me in the potential of illness by getting wet and cold. How dare you?